First, let's focus on the main components of the product, the display and the sampler. Next, as the first step, we will closely connect these two via the communication cable. Gently insert the white end of the communication cable into the corresponding port on the sampler. And then securely connect the other black end into the communication port on the back of the display. With this, the connection between the display and the sampler is completed. Next, let's discuss how to establish a connection with the battery. On the sampler, you can clearly see the markings for B, P, and V+. Here, B is used to connect to the negative terminal of the battery. P is for connecting the negative terminal of the charger and the load. And V plus corresponds to the positive terminal of the battery. Now, let's start with the specific wiring operations. First, gently unscrew the wiring at the negative terminal of the battery and securely connect it to the P port on the sampler. Since the negative wire of the battery itself is used to connect the negative terminal of the charger and the load, such a connection is reasonable. Next, we prepare a wire to connect the negative terminal of the battery to the B port on the sampler, ensuring the connection is firm and stable. Then, we move on to connecting the positive terminal of the battery. Use the positive wire to closely connect the V-plus port on the sampler to the positive terminal of the battery. With this, the wiring work for the BLF series Coulomb meter is successfully completed. Now, we can gently peel off the film on the display and start charging the battery. Through the display, we can clearly see the charging parameters with the green current and charging characters, indicating that the battery is currently being charged. Next, we conduct a discharge test for the battery. At this moment, you can see the current value displayed in blue, accompanied by a discharge character, clearly indicating that the battery is currently in a discharge state. After introducing the wiring, let's move on to demonstrate the monitor's operation. Next we will take you through the fantastic operation of the BLF series waterproof Bluetooth Coulomb meter. This device is not only powerful but also easy to operate. Definitely worth your time to explore in depth. Firstly, please focus on the three buttons on the device, which are your bridge to communicate with it. The middle OK button, when long pressed, allows you to enter the settings menu while short pressing the left and right directional buttons lets you freely switch between various functions, including language selection, carousel display, inverse display, auto off screen, brightness adjustment, and restoring to default settings. Long pressing the OK button, you can easily return to the main interface. In the main interface, Long press the left directional button to enter the full capacity setting. Short press the OK button. And the modification icon will appear. Then short press the OK button again to freely switch the cursor position. The left directional button decreases the value. While the right increases it. After modifications. Short press the OK button to confirm. When the modification icon disappears. It means the capacity has been successfully modified. Afterwards, long press the OK button to return to the main interface. And long press the right directional button to enter the capacity percentage setting. Similarly, after short pressing the OK button and the modification icon appears, use the left and right directional buttons to easily adjust the value. And short press the OK button to confirm. Want to view voltage, current, power, remaining capacity, and estimated time? Long press the OK button to return to the main interface. Short press the right directional button. And you can quickly switch to other display interfaces. Of course, we have many more exciting features for you to explore. Long press the OK button again to enter the settings interface. 
short press the OK button. And use the left and right directional buttons to easily switch between Chinese or English display. After making the modification, short press the right directional button to switch to the carousel mode feature. Short press the OK button to enter the setting state. And use the left and right directional buttons to easily turn on or off this feature. Once carousel mode is enabled, long press the OK button to return to the main interface. And you'll find that it automatically rotates through three parameter interfaces. Long press the OK button. And we move on to another magical feature, inverse display. Short press the OK button to enter the modification state. Then short press the left directional button to instantly activate the inverse display feature. Press the OK button again. And when the modification icon disappears, it indicates the setting is successful. Long press the OK button again to return to the main interface where you can appreciate the clear display effect this feature brings, especially under strong light, making the content even more discernible. Continuing our exploration, long press the OK button to enter the setting function, and after turning off the inverse display, we come to another practical feature, auto off screen. Short press the OK button to enter the setting state. Press the left button to activate the auto off screen feature. And short press the OK button to confirm. After returning to the main interface, in charging state, the meter will automatically enter the off screen mode after 20 seconds. In discharging state, if the current is less than 15 milliamps and lasts for more than 20 seconds, the screen will also automatically turn off. To wake the screen, just touch any button. Of course, we must not forget about adjusting the brightness. Enter the setting function. Short press the OK button to bring up the modification icon. Then use the OK button to switch the cursor position and the left and right directional buttons to adjust to the desired brightness. After completing the brightness adjustment, we also prepared a restore default settings feature for you. Short press the OK button to enter the setting state. Short press the left directional button to select yes. Then short press the OK button. And the device will revert to factory settings. Everything as new. Additionally, we demonstrated the display of battery charging and discharging states. Allowing you to always be aware of the battery's usage status. Lastly, we'll take a look at how to operate and use the mobile app. First, open the Genta Home Smart Platform app, making sure your phone's Bluetooth and location services are enabled. Then, click on the plus sign in the upper right corner, select Add Device, enter the Coulomb Meter option, and add the BLF Series Coulomb Meter. Next, click on the search icon in the upper right corner, and allow the app to access location and Bluetooth permissions. When the Bluetooth connection pop-up appears, select the BTM001 Bluetooth model to connect. Once connected successfully, you will find that the content displayed on the app's main page is exactly the same as that on the device screen. Next, let's move on to the settings interface. First, set the full capacity, for example, if your battery is 100 ah, then set the full capacity to 100 ah. When the battery is fully charged, you can set the current capacity percentage to 100%. Next, choose to enable carousel mode. Once enabled, you will see the device interface begin to automatically rotate, showing three different interface contents. 
In addition, you can also adjust the brightness of the device screen. The brightness adjustment is digital, making it very convenient. Let's look at the inverse display function. With this function enabled, you can clearly see the display content on the device even under strong light. Next, we introduce the auto off screen feature. In charging state, if there is no operation for a long time, the screen will automatically turn off after 20 seconds. In the discharging state, if the current is less than 15 milliamps, the system defaults to the device being in a non-working state and will also automatically turn off the screen. Of course, if you wish the screen to stay on, simply disable the auto off screen feature. If you need to restart the device, just click on the restart machine option, but be aware that you will need to reconnect Bluetooth after restarting. Going back to the settings interface, you can also choose restore defaults, which will reset the device to factory settings. However, be aware that after restoring defaults, you will need to reset the battery related parameters. Thank you for watching. We hope this video helps you better understand and use the BLF series waterproof Bluetooth Coulomb meter mobile app.